here. Get everything turned this way, that way. The doodads, the knickknacks, the paddy wax, the pumpkin Knick -knack, gourds. Paddy wax, bring your phone. Arr, arr. Christina. Get it because I'm wearing a fluffy jacket. I'm yes. <laughs> and I've got ears. I got ears. Christina, you jumped the gun right when we were getting ready to get started. So close. Happy Halloween, Michael Happy and Jessica. Halloween. Hope you had a great week. Love you guys. We not only had a great week, we had an absolutely terrific week. Oh, absolutely fabulous is wonderful. We started talking in the chat about um, British comedies. Wait, and, uh, people in England are funny? Well, that is honestly <laughs> a matter of opinion, depending on where you are, because even the British will say that their humor is very dry, very dry, but I like it. I've grown up on it. I've always really liked it. Good evening, everyone. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah Johnson, Christina Perez, 218, Joe Cyrus, or is it Joe Cyrus? I can never Different remember kind that of one. Today. I, seen I it with V. Wear it like this so you can see the hat more, but then you can't I see the face. should flip around backwards. Monica. No way. Alicia no way. Cunningham, no. Kylie, Christina, no. Julie Bullock. Bullock. Everybody's, everybody's coming in. Everybody. Joseph, Shelley, Norma, Wee Charles, hoo. Switzer. Hopefully you the all had a good week as well. We were talking about how cold it is in the United States right now. It's cold the in the East United Coast. States? Well, you know what? I feel like I shouldn't complain living in California, but you get acclimated to the weather here. And so I've been wearing this fuzzy jacket for like indoors, outdoors. I can't let it go. Hello, Toronto, like I'm, just, Debbie. I'm cold all the time now. We got some cold news. Man. We are watching a movie tonight. We got some news. We're going to be talking about all that once everybody starts coming in. Um, welcome to oh, another oh, night baby. of Grim. Up oh, all night. Oh, why did that? I was throwing you under the bus. You got ran over four tires. Me, 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 me. Welcome to another night of Grim. Say it. Say it. You're good at I'll gonna... do it. I'll do okay. it. Welcome to another night of Grim. Up all night. night. Basically, if you're old enough to remember the USA Up All Night hosted by Gilbert Godfrey or Rhonda Shear. Let me hang out to dry. Something very similar to that. We play movies. They played movies. Sometimes they're really bad. Sometimes they're really good. We found this really, we found a free I mean, streaming kind of service awesome called Tubi. And depending on where you are in the world, you might not be able to watch the movie link that we have provided for mm -hmm. you for free. I see some of you guys saying you got your DVDs ready. DVDs, VHS, um, digital files. Did it come out on Laserdisc? Does anyone know? Oh, and it did not come out on Laserdisc. That was, that was like way too old. I don't know. I feel like some things kind of like, circulated somehow either way i'm sure you can find it and get it ready because don't watch it just yet get it ready cue it up hit pause <laughs> do not watch it just yet we're going to be watching it in about That's 25 awesome, minutes Kenny. welcome to the swamp central of the like united states that, always uh so they're from scotland but watching in miami scotland from miami welcome swamp 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 to the other side of the country so tonight we are watching a movie that came out in the year 2009 Feels so long ago when you say it like that. Called Zombie Land. Zombie Land. There's a whole cast of crazy characters in this, including Bill Murray. If you've never seen hey, the Declan. movie, I just ruined it for you. Hey, Michael, Jessica, hey. how are you doing today? We're doing pretty good. Declan K. Uh, do you got the box of Twinkies we ordered? I've had a lot of sugar. She ate. Wait, you ate all the Twinkies? Do we have Twinkies tonight? We forgot to get the Twinkies. All right, watch party is canceled. We have to leave. We'll do this next week. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, we don't have Twinkies. Good night. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we are here. We don't have any snacks. We got drinks. I uh, like the occasional snowball. Zombie Land. Zombie Land. Every time I see or hear Zombie Land, I think of um, the the movie Zombies from Disney. With oh, with yeah. God, I love that movie. I wish they would release a third one on disc. They guys, put the, the soundtrack out, but they never released the movie. Do you guys want to hear a really funny story about Zombieland? Yeah, yeah. Ding dong. <laughs> My love for you, it grows wide and strong. Yeah, yeah. So Zombieland was filmed in Atlanta, Georgia. And I lived yes. in Atlanta for a little bit. And I did a filming location video for like a couple things. Not a lot, but just like a few little taste things of Zombieland. This is like many, many, many moons ago. And this is... You ready for this? This is back.
back before I was filming everything on like the cell phone. I didn't have a gimbal or yeah. any kind of stick. We started so, out on a cell phone. So yeah. I built, I built this thing out of like, okay, it was, it was like a PVC pipe. Don't even get us started on that. PVC pipe that was like also like a like a selfie stick kind of thing like back in the day before selfie sticks existed. Well, they no, they existed. Did they? Yeah, but like I was like I made it my own because you know this and that and that whatever. So I had this black PVC pipe that I would carry with me, and what was nice about it, it had caps on both ends, so I could put all my stuff inside it, like like you know like microphones and like wires and stuff like that. And I tap put. How it, big was this pipe? It was like it's just like a pipe, like a pipe, just so, like a pipe. So okay. So but the thank you, the fun thing Hi. about this, thank you, Chris. As I would pull it out, it was in the shape of like an L. So it would go, it was this long barrel and like a handle. Okay. I'm so, trying to follow you, but so I'm, I'm stuck on PVC. When pipe. I would put it together on the side of the road, it would look like I'm putting together a shotgun. So I'm in the middle of Atlanta, like downtown Atlanta, Georgia, putting together this PVC pipe in the back of my car, like dressed in black, standing outside businesses. A lot of few people asked me what the heck I was doing. And I was like, it's just a camera. What are you doing? So every time that we're filming, we have a gimbal. And the gimbal has a, like a tripod on the bottom. When I put yeah. it back together, I always yeah. go back to those streets in Atlanta. I feel like I'm putting together a, a something that somebody's going to I wish I could have like, seen this. So I was kind of My high. mind is really running with it. <sighs> Metal Health Racing. Thank you, honey. Hey, guys. I love the latest video. Did you get my gift in the mail by chance? If not, I'll be sad. I'm, I don't think that we have. The only thing I've gotten at the P.O. Box lately has been like, um, and was it a card? I've gotten a couple of cards. Um, Michael the Hitman is right, Sarah. <laughs> but I haven't gotten any any items in the mail. Uh, last time I checked was like... Seven? Probably like last Monday, thousand I think. Thousand years ago. I feel like, I want to say a couple of days, but it was probably closer <laughs> to like five days ago was the last time I checked. We should probably go on Monday. Tomorrow's no. All right. So tomorrow's Today's, Sunday. We're gonna right. be out. So we're not gonna be here. We're going to Vegas um for a, a podcast and some shenanigans um this week. So we're gonna be in Vegas this next week, uh filming a lot. Yeah. But okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about a few things. We're gonna talk, we got a few little surprises coming this week, but Is we it have a some news. On Monday? What's Monday? No, we're gonna be in Vegas. We're no, gone. It's a holiday. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um <laughs> So yeah, so before we get started, Lee the Machine Bowers 999 for the channel. Happy Halloween. Thank you very much. Michael Jessica Snowballs, where are where are the freaking Twiggies? Much love. I, I know. I can I can eat a snowball because I like the texture. But yeah, where's the Twinkies? We forgot to get Twinkies. I was up pick all right. Am I the only one that tries to eat the cream out the middle though? So let's okay. let's say things. That we do in the in, in our life in the Grim Life Collective, Hi, that when you hear them taking taken out of context, yeah, you scratch your head and go, only them. All right, ready? Okay. I'll start. Okay. Knowing that tonight we are going to be watching Zombieland, yeah. I should have picked up Twinkies, but I you know, it didn't but, even occur to me. Listen though. to me. I'm like, no. but I forgot to pick up Twinkies. Because I went out to the desert to pick up tombstones instead. Not not the pizza. Right. No, actual like tombstones. So. Definitely didn't get any custom artwork. I'll keep my eye out though, Metal Health. You never know. So we we have the, we, we can't show them right now. We're working on getting things. But we picked up two tombstones from a very, very famous TV show that. Uh, Hi, Bordell. That premiered on, or well, that was on HBO. I'm, all, I'm just gonna say that. So we have two very famous tombstones from the from a show that was on HBO in our possession now, and we're working on something very very special. But we're not gonna tell you what it is. You can guess it. You can guess it. You might get it right, but I'm not gonna tell you. We're not gonna tell you what it is. N not nothing. You'll find out eventually. Usually we find out together. <laughs> Us. Yeah. Um, so don't feel bad if you don't get it. I usually don't either. With that being said, before we get knee deep but into this, but we did put a Lovecraft Country. Actually, we just did. We were there when it was filming. We didn't know it was filming there at the time. Before we get knee deep into this, let's talk about this real quick. Thank you all for watching the channel. 
thank every single one of you for taking the time to watching it and sharing it with friends, sharing it with family, watching it day after day, having no, the, the N-word notifications on where as soon as something happens, you're like, oh, my God, Grim Life Collective. We love you, too, Atomic Thank you, Atomic Hive. Uh, Ghost Club members, thank you for being members. Some of you guys, have this is your very first month. Others have been here since the very beginning. Yeah, I um, know. Super chats, all that jazz. If you want to help the Grim Life Collective in any way, shape, or form, there are ways to do that. Yeah. As a reminder, our videos are always right free for you. Right always soon? free. Our store is going to be opening up in the first week of February. We're getting everything ready. We got finalization on new pins. T-shirts should be done um, and on their way to us very soon. And uh, so keep an eye out for that. Notif uh, announcements are coming for new merchandise. Uh, in the description of every single one of our videos, you, you will find Hi. links that that of uh, to our store and to our, our other social media. It's or not open yet. It, like I just said, it's not open yet. Um, there are ways that you can help out if you want to. If not, don't worry about it. Just the fact that you're here. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now for news. What news? We I've have had, news. I've had sugar. <laughs> Thank you, Metal Health Racing. Squirrel. Uh, Shiny. We announced recently that uh, we are going to be at Chicago Days of the Dead. We kind of hinted. Well, I think we talked about it. I think we actually. But it's official. Days of the Dead, Chicago. We're going to be there. And Horror Realm Con in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We are going to be there. And we're also going to be at Trans World Halloween Show. In St. Louis, but not with a table. We won't be signing or Correct. anything like that. We're just be walking around as as. They don't guests. have any guests there mm -hmm. like that, so no. it's just we're going to be there filming and just having fun with all yeah. the new Halloween no stuff. No vending coming. table or anything like that. Is there any other? I tried to get the Still Game whiskey, but they didn't have it anymore. Like, couldn't get the thing with their signature on it. I didn't learn about it until really late, though. Shelly Kirkpatrick, so cool. all three days in Chicago. Yes. Uh, for some reason, it's always, when it comes to conventions, it's Pittsburgh, all, yes. when it comes to conventions, it's always all three days unless otherwise noted. I, and I if you're it. new to conventions, that might be something that's new. But if we were only yeah. going to be there for a Saturday, we would say that we're going to be there for a Saturday. Yeah. Um, and when it comes to conventions, for some reason... For some reason, whether it's because flights oh, or whatever, celebrities, actors, they like to show up late and they like to leave early. We do the opposite. We do the opposite. We're yeah. usually the very first people there and we stay till the last person leaves. So like you, sometimes literally. So if you if you end up going there late, don't worry, we will be there. And if we're not at the table, we'll be back soon. Yeah. Because sometimes we have to fight for a bathroom break. <laughs> yeah. And I'm hypoglycemic, so I, I can get sick really easily when I don't eat regularly, which I, I tend to eat all my snacks before. No I'm trivia disgusting. during Zombieland, Chris. No, no no trivia, nothing like that. It got hot. Not tonight. Like, last time we did some giveaways and stuff. Everything's been shipped out, by the way. If you want anything from the giveaway, um, everything oh, yeah. has already been shipped out. Doug, good point. We are going to be um, at CreepyCon, too. CreepyCon. Yes. That's here in California, though. Um, I think we have photo ops at all of our appearances right now. I have no clue. I think so. I want to say I think the so. Own, uh, no. No? Nope. Pittsburgh? Pittsburgh for sure. Yeah. And the I other ones Creepy I don't Con. know. CreepyCon. Uh, Usually Days of the yes. Dead, yes. Yeah. But we, I don't know about Days of the Dead. Oh, okay. Honk. Hello, Norway. My dad's side of the family is from Norway. I'm like fourth generation American though, or something like that. So don't ask me where, because I have no idea. I'd have to look it up. Mike Upham, have you ever done any locations in Chicago pertaining to Al Capone, St. Valentine's Day Massacre, etc.? Yes, we have. And I'm guessing you're relatively new because we did spend some time in Chicago last year. And we put out videos specifically on those. Thank you, Dylan. Um, again, this is also a good time to point this out. Thank you guys for asking the questions. What but, is Dead Man's Hollow? But if you end up finding yourselves going, huh, I wonder if the Grim Life Collective has done a video on Al Capone. Or, hey, I wonder if the Grim Life Collective has done a video on the, the Dawn of the Dead movie. 
Um, get adventurous. Open up YouTube and, and go to the search t- search tab and type in Grim Life Collective Al Capone, and you might be surprised. There's all kinds of things mm-hmm. that we've been we've been doing it for a couple of years it now. Pull it right up for you, yeah. And yeah, like so, there's a lot of older ones that some people can't, you know, they miss because they find us just now. But yeah. it's a rabbit hole. They call it a rabbit hole for a reason, you know. Um, when you find one, just keep following the Thank trail, you, and you might be surprised. I have to look again to see how many videos we're at. I, I lost count at one point, but it'll tell you how many. I think videos we're about nine hundred. Nine hundred videos. Yeah. Nine hundred videos. Gary Jordan. Nine hundred videos. Very much. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. Chris Gray, how much are the tickets to the Hollywood Museum? Do you know? Um, the one that we just did. Yep. I want, they're fairly cheap. I want $15. to say, well, I want to say 25 that's, $15. That's, that is so <laughs> worth it. But you know what? The, the thing about that is that since it's on Hollywood Boulevard itself, you do have to park in either a parking garage or um, all the parking lots are going to charge you. So you're probably going to pay like $15 or so for parking, if not a little bit more. Thank if you're you, not Sarah. familiar with the area and you're wanting to sightsee here, just to warn you, but then you're literally in the heart of Hollywood, though. So you'd be walking around doing everything. So you'd be paying for all day parking. And I mean, it's really worth it. Pretty much. The, we found the general rule of thumb here in Hollywood, pretty much anywhere in Los Angeles. If you are driving and you're going to park your car, mm-hmm. if you're going to park your car, unless they have validation, just just bet that you're going to be paying $20 wherever you go for parking. Wherever Pretty you much. go, yeah. twenty bucks, and it might be it might be less at certain times, but the general rule of thumb, twenty bucks for parking. Because yeah, you're gonna be there half the day, if not all day. Anyway. Are there any plans for the thousandth video? Uh, oh, good no, question. no, not at this time. Uh, we never, we've never done things like that where it's like, hey guys, here's our one thousandth video. Mm-hmm. I know other people have done things like that. Uh, I kind of don't count them like that. Yeah, we don't we, count. We don't yeah. keep track. <laughs> we don't no. keep track. <laughs> we, we just kind of, we, we, we create the videos um, and we're, we're passionate about each one. So the thousandth video is, is uh, I, I don't League know. Gentlemen, yeah. The thousandth video to us is going to be just as amazing to us as the first, the first video. Yeah. So uh, every video of ours is the millionth one, if, if that makes sense. You know, um, but I don't think you're going to did the first one. You dreamed of the thousandth one. You you dreamed about the hundredth one. If you could get that far. Like, I I don't think that you mean, you're not going to see a video that goes, all right, guys, this is our thousandth video. Let's have fun. You're not going to see something like that. No. Yeah. That's just the way we do things. I don't know. Although we did acknowledge whenever we got the, uh, um, the the hundred thousand play button. Cause it was cool because that we actually, they sent us a little celebration to it. We had like, you know, a thing to show. So that was, that was fun. Yeah. Bet your bottom dollar the next time we get a play button, the next play button, if we get the next play button, you never know. Oh God, that um, one's... It, it, it's going to be... A big one, isn't it? Something extremely insane that we're going to do. <laughs> so. Practically make a whole miniature movie off that, probably. Because that's like, what, one million, one million, I think, is when they do the next one. Jessica is not always with me whenever she whenever we do vids. Yep. I'm I'm constantly in motion from the moment I wake up to the moment I fall asleep. I'm constantly in motion, constantly whatever. Yep. And sometimes I'm a homebody. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> I, I'll go out and film something and I, I just can't stop. He's up at like 5 a.m every single day even on the days he's like supposed to be on vacation he's up at 5 a.m every day um i typically get up around 9 30 10 like every most normal people would and uh yeah you're not getting me out of bed before that no way quickly Sometimes. i'm gonna remember because somebody was just asking Sometimes. uh two things three things four things tonight's watch party does every who here is this their very first watch party? None of you should be watching Zombieland right now. We're just talking. Nobody should be watching Zombieland. Hit pause. Don't watch yet. Who here is this their very first Grim Up All Night watch party? Who here is a Grim Up All Night virgin? Put your hands down. I am not a morning person. <laughs> I matter of fact, I am a grumpy morning person. Irish Gip. I'm a first. 
Lori, oh gosh, Luria Borealis, Christina Perez, you are a liar. So liar. liar. So for everybody who is attending for the very first time, this is how tonight works. The movie, Zombieland, just like all of our videos, is free for you to watch. Now, depending on where you are in the world, you might not be able to watch the video of how we have it hosted. Pin to the top of the chat that you're all typing in right now or yeah. reading or in the description of this video, you will find a link that says free movie link and it'll take you to a website or an app called Tubi, T-U-B-I. Sorry, it's just the easiest way that we can stream or have the movie playing mm -hmm. and have nothing fall. When we first started doing watch parties, those of who've been here since the very beginning, we would cancel them because we would try to stream it. We'd try to do this, try to oh host God, it. Oh, when it kept breaking in the internet. It was such a pain. So we do it like this. Now, in order for tonight's watch party to work perfectly, you need two devices. One to watch us, one to watch the video. Makes sense, right? Two TVs, two phones, a phone, a TV, a tablet, a phone, uh, a Switch. PlayStation, a Switch, uh, two Browsers open on your computer. You can play YouTube on Switch. Right? You can yeah. have, you need two devices. One to watch us and say, screw the movie. I don't like Zombie Land anyhow. I just want to watch the Grimms. Look at that hat, green hair. Or you can say, screw the Grimms. They bore me. I don't even like the Grim Life Collective. I'm here because Zombie Land. <laughs> Whichever way you want to do it. This is just an excuse for us to all, all kind of hang out. All right? It's that simple. Ba -ba -bow. We're going to be watching the movie in about eight minutes so none of you should be watching it we have it queued up and at 8 30 our time 11 30 eastern standard time we're going to hit play we're going to watch it we're going to have some fun any questions go ahead and ask them now be loud about it because especially you in the very back because i can't hear you just be really loud scream it we know the church yeah it just got um, a nice 4K release through Severin Video. Mm -hmm. If you go to their website, you can order it right now. I think it's still like 20% off there, too. We love Severin. Screw the Grimms. And the, uh, it has a slip cover. It's gorgeous. Right. Really, really gorgeous. And um, um, Yes, we have the 4K Apple TV. Also, uh, Delamore T. Delamore, Cemetery Man, I believe it, they just released also on 4K went from a Severin video. Get him a body bag. Go check out their website because I don't know if they're going to sell out soon. I hope not because I want to order it when I get back from Vegas instead of waiting, you know, it like missing me as I'm on an airplane. There's something else. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, ooh. Some of you guys, thank you all for doing like. It's in my straps. I hate when they get twisted. Thank you all for, for those who have been doing super chats. It means the world. And there are a ton of Ghost Club right now. Coast Club members. That's the people that are highlighted in green. They have that little albino Pac-Man right next to it. If you want to become a Ghost Club member, albino right? Albino Pac-Man. <laughs> if you want to become a Ghost Club member, joining the afterlife, the grim life afterlife, there are ways to do it. The link is in the description of this video. And for some of you, if you hit that little dollar sign, I hate saying that for the love of Pete. If you hit that little there sign that are. looks like whatever, it should pop up. Um, it's a month thing. We do we go live with everybody once a month. Um, just for you guys, there's no movie. We get to hang out. And also the movie, the videos are oh. early access to you guys. Hi, but don't Sam feel like Matt. you have to do that. Always take care of family, especially in today's time, day and age. Take care of yourself. Take care of family. The yes. videos are always going to be free. It's just there if you want to help out because some people ask. We get asked a lot, actually. Hey, how can I contribute? So thank you for that. Thank you. Say hi to Sam and Matt. Sam and Matt. Hi. Hi. She just had a major surgery. What major surgery does she have? They're recovering and watching Some us as they and chill. recuperate. Hocus focus. What what major oh, surgery? Good. If you don't mind me asking. She had her toes removed. Oh. Yeah. So now Did her, you keep her feet look like this. <laughs> like you made it go blurry again. <laughs> wait, 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 somebody said hocus focus. Oh man, that's that's rough. Hocus focus. That one takes a while to heal from. Hocus focus. All the love. Give her gentle so hugs good. from me. Gentle hugs. Gentle you mean, uh, okay. Hug her face. 218 Josiris, yes. Josiris, Just saying hello. Hey, oh, and baby, here's the hi. other thing. There are a lot of people here. Uh, we we try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. Don't think that you have to be a Ghost Club member or do a super chat in order to get our attention. Mm -hmm. Some people are like constantly copy and paste, copy and paste. We try to get everybody. I tend to personally skip over questions that have been asked a lot. Like, 
the same ones over time, you know, keep it a little interesting. Danzig or Graves? Danzig. Uh, see, things like that. I haven't had that question before. So it, it just kind of goes with the flow. We're here to have a good time. That's it. Good time. If you're not having I a good time, good hugs. go watch sports. I think. You do give good hugs. I give good hugs. Hi, Tacoma, Billy Altman. But whenever I give you a hug, you're kind of also in a little bit of danger. Because she doesn't wear deodorant. No, that's not it. I do wear <laughs> deodorant. Thank you, hot nerd. Hi, honey. <laughs> hot nerd. So, like, I was one of those kids growing up. You know, I have ADHD, and I've had a lot of sugar right now. And, um... <laughs> and... She has ADHD. She likes to add HD TVs together. One, oh, two, yeah, three, awesome. four K. But like sometimes, you know, when you hug somebody and like they're shorter than you. So maybe this is something you experience because you're so much taller than me. You ever just like kind of want to bite their head? What the hell? If you have a baby, I've, don't bring it to us. I don't think us. I've bitten anybody yet, honestly, but I'm kind of. I kind of bite people. You go, um, boss. 760. But Hello, instead of biting people, spooky, spooky. I usually just chew on your hair. Yeah. So there's a there's a, there's a chance that if we ever meet in person and um, I get to give you a hug, I might chew on your hair. Thank you, Fraser Davidson. Somebody asked. Or just smell you because I like to smell people too. I sound like a psycho right now. Yes, you do. Somebody asked if we have any plans on going back to Salem. And what did I say today? You really wanted to go to Salem today. I woke. So it's been so, it's been chilly here. And I, and it's that time of year. And we talked about going to Salem for Valentine's Day. Um, and I woke up today going, man, I really wish that we could, we were in Salem right now. So I'm, See, we're missing Jackie, it. We're missing Jackie it. can verify. I played with her hair when we met. And I probably at least smelled it. I bet you I smelled your hair. I'm almost positive I smelled your hair. And if not, I was thinking about it. Every time I see my best friend, I smell her hair. And like, I get anxiety if I don't. Listen, she used to smell people's feet. She's, she's like, like, take the shoes off. Than me. And I'm she's always like, like, I'm like, you smell good. She smells like candy to me. Who, Michelle? Yeah. Oh, God. Every time I see her, I have to smell her head. It's like, do you ever smell a baby's head and go, wow, they smell like chicken noodle soup? No. Yeah. Do they really? Yeah, sometimes. No. I don't know why. I remember smelling a baby's head once and it smelled like chicken noodle soup. And then I immediately thought, I was like, do all babies' heads smell like chicken noodle soup? Or did this family just spill chicken noodle soup on their baby? <laughs> Which might explain why they're looking a little ugly because they got burned. So to test this theory. Michael the next... stands there and just judges you. So the next time, <laughs> the next time I saw a baby... I smelled its head, and you know what? It didn't smell like chicken noodle soup, which means to me <laughs> the family poured chicken noodle soup on their baby to try to scold it to make it look better, but he's ultimately made it look you, worse. But he's very <sighs> stoic in person. Like on camera, I feel like he's a bit more energetic. But um, when we're when we do conventions, right? So they're really long days. We get up really early. We set up our own tables. We do not have assistance or anything like that. Um, we do not have anybody that helps us do what we do. Um, everything is 100% just done thank by you. the two of us. Um, thank you, Christina. Although, whenever we were at our show in Scotland. Well, they were amazing. But when that, we were at different. the show in Scotland, we basically had security detail. We did. But listen, uh, <laughs> there's a diff you get a, a little bit of a Parabellum. different experience between Michael and I at a convention. Because Michael's very honest about when he's tired. <laughs> and like... Oh, really? He tries to reserve his energy because he knows it's going to be a long day. Whereas I have insane anxiety, so I'm just like, hi, how are you today? And I'm like that all day long until literally um, mm. the convention is over and I crash really, really hard. And usually that's why you don't see me all the times at after events at conventions because I get sick. Like I go so hard all day long because I just don't know how to stop that I literally get sick afterward because I also monster. have a, um, I have a, uh, underactive thyroid and i've got a heart condition and all that stuff you guys know me it is that time yeah it is that time real quickly before we hit play uh we missed one we missed oh did we miss one yeah because he was talking i talk a lot. <laughs> parabellum collectibles have you ever seen strange land yes love to see a watch party if you ever find a streaming service that has it so yeah man thank you by the way thank so you so parabellum before we get started parabellum collectibles 
Uh, we have seen Strangeland. We'd love to do that. That's a good one. If you if you want to be amused, search on our channel an interview that we did with Thank D. You, D. Snyder. Do an interview we did. Uh, look for an interview that we did with D. Snyder, who starred in uh, uh, Strangeland, and you're gonna be amused. <laughs> Rather, all right. It is time. We love you too, Christine. It is time for Zombieland. Does everybody have any questions on where to find the movie? If you don't know where it's at, it's pinned to the top of the chat, the one that you're watching and reading right now, depending there or over there or down there. And it's also in the description of the video that you're watching right now. Get it ready. Hat. Damn. Ready? Three. Two. Watch it. One. Dude. Aha. Thank Hit you, play. Jeffrey. There Hi. is going to be, depending on how you're watching it, unless you put in your own device, your own thing, you might get some, um, what do you call it? Advertisements. Adverts. Commercials. Commerciales. And if you do that, and you want to make sure that we are on the same page, the same part of the movie... All you have to do, and this is crucial. You guys ready? Especially everybody who's watching the Grim Life, Grim Up All Night for the very first time. If you want to know where we are in the movie, yell at the top of your lungs so your grandmother can hear you. If you have a sleeping Don't baby, like the baby wakes up screaming and you're up for the rest of the night going, oh, I hate Grim Life Collective. Why did they make me do this? Yell at the top of your lungs. Trap stamp. Oh, don't do it. Don't and then it. we'll look, tell you look, where we're at. We got people screaming. Right? There it got, is. They know. Got people yeah. You got to yell really loud. Brains. We want your kid, your baby, to be scarred for life. No, we don't. No, we don't. We don't. No, we don't. We don't. Please don't do that. No. But if you really want your baby to love you, take some cold chicken noodle soup. Not hot because it's not safe. Chicken noodle soup. Get a big bowl. Grab that baby by ankles and just kind of dip them down in there. Like you're like. Thank you, like you're like, you know, Coloring Easter eggs. <laughs> No, okay. So there's, I, we don't have children. There's one thing focus, that focus. I would love to do. <laughs> I, I, sh I don't know if I should say it like that. The one thing that I would love to do. Uh, there's one thing that I've seen people do with babies that I am a little jealous of. <laughs> Hi, Argentina. You said a little jealous of, and then, then the movie burped. It's, it's, is throwing a piece of cheese on a baby to see if they stop crying. Because every video I've seen that they've done it, it's worked. And I don't know if it's just, if it works every time, like they make it seem like it. Somebody please throw a piece of cheese on your baby for me. Let me know how it goes. Maybe do it when the other parent isn't looking. I don't know. I Cheese is good. I like cheese. I think, you know, they get confused at first by the texture and then they smell food. It's the and they're smell. like, what? Yeah, right? Yeah. It's the smell. Because they're like, oh, baby. Not ooh. like a block of cheese, like a slice of cheese. No, it hits them and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, milk. And they're Aaron, like, oh wait my a God. second. Aaron, if you do it, oh my God, please do it. What's but that? Film it. He's like, she's 16, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> Are we throwing, throwing cheese at his daughter? Is that what we're talking about? Bling it. Like, oh, my God. How's right. your aim? No, this is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. You got to get Swiss cheese, the one with the big holes. You got to throw it and try to, like, ring it around the nose. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He said, hey, I'll be right back. We should we should do this with, like, with, with like cheesy bread. I like cheese. Cheese is good. Oh, Jesus. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up starting a food fight in somebody's house by accident. I threw a block of cheese at the baby and it did stop Don't crying. Did it? All right. Who's who here? Who here? My mom okay. threw fish at me like a life fish. Like who here is old enough and was poor enough to experience true government, government cheese? cheese? Not like this. Whenever they brought it back oh. and it was like whatever. But I'm talking like the government cheese that came in like the cardboard box, right? Not I, like the plastic, the cardboard my box. Eyes are all watery plastic. now. That was the best dang cheese in the world. Like, I don't care what you say. You, you, the government cheese was amazing. <laughs> Michelle's like, that tastes like gross. I, I, I never... Uh, there was a point in life where they, we where they changed it. We should have had assistance when I was younger, but we didn't. 
the five pound box. Did you have to slice it yourself? I heard that some people had to slice yes, it themselves. Yes, you had to slice okay. it yourself. So it was like a big block of cheese. Yep, it was yeah. like it was like that long, okay. and it was like this. It was like a loaf of bread, cheese loaf, but it was like actual cheese, That's and awesome. you would slice it. Oh man, I love that. <laughs> Is that why you love American cheese so much? I like all kinds of cheese. I mean, but you really love American. I don't. I, 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 I do. I, do, maybe I, I loved so. when we were in England seeing American cheese oh. at the grocery store because I think I also had it in parentheses, American cheese, but they don't use dyes in England. So it was white. And at first I was like, oh, okay. white cheddar? And I was like, no, it's, it's, it's the American whatever flavor, but they just don't use dyes there. So it was still just white. Did yeah. we tell you the story about like the first, like one of the very first things I said to a French person in Paris? Was it in Paris? So every time you you so we're, we're in we're in England we're in England we take the Channel Tunnel to Paris or well, to to France and is it I don't remember the name of the town but as soon as we get off the train with the car we go to a gas station and we're confused we don't know what the hell's going on so eventually we go inside the gas station and I'm standing there and I'm talking to somebody Ew. and huh there's a cheese that exists that has live maggots inside oh look at that uh. What? It, it's whatever. Oh, the the first guy, and he was helping us out. But what did I say? I said. Oh, you went to say yes. <laughs> he went to say yes. We're in France. Yeah, but he he meant to say we, oui, and he was like, "See." Si. Yeah, I, I had to think for a second. I was like, "Uh, yes, no, yes, yes, yes." How do I say yes? How do see? See. In in in, in France. And I was like, "What?" I was like, "Honey, that's Spanish. We're in France." Tabasco. I don't think Tabasco is hot. Does anyone actually think Darren Tabasco Davies. is hot? Or is it just Wait, like a... I met flavor? you guys in Whitby. Darren, Darren, were you the... Um, I'm so oh, bad with names. Were you, the TV show. Yeah, were you the guy that was filming? Running the camera during the TV that show was so in Whitby? so much fun. We were so cold. Mm -hmm. I'm going to write on your face. I'm going to give you a mustache with a pen when you sleep. I'm going to draw all over... We play this game. No, we don't. She plays the game. I'm a, I'm a hapless bystander. <laughs> I'm always trying to draw on I'm him the with victim a pen. here. Yes, that was me. Hi, Hope, so right. good to see you again. Hopefully we didn't get people in trouble. Oh, uh, cuz we like we're like we're, we're being sneaky and incognito with 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 the camera. <laughs> Aaron, did you hit your kid with cheese yet? <laughs> yeah, right. Aaron, come on. You have a reputation. You have a reputation here, buddy. We had a lot of fun, and we, we we really enjoyed meeting you. So we tried to say goodbye on our way back down the hill, but we couldn't find you, yeah. and so we we told because um, he was working. The other guy who was there when we were chatting um, to tell you goodbye. Hopefully, he <clears throat> found you because yeah. we we didn't we were we felt uncomfortable about interrupting what you guys were doing, and we didn't want to get I did in trouble. I almost invited myself <laughs> no, on Jesus the set. Only graded. Did you did you just like did oh my you God. like? It's like did you're you a the, salad now, Martha. The, the the elbow sprinkle off like the top of her head, or like, did you make it fancy? Like, right? It still works. Oh Jesus! I'm so sorry about the mess that's about to happen in your house. Because if I was her, I'd 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 totally start. A you fight. need to get like some like Parmesan cheese that you put on spaghetti, where it's like powder, just sprinkle. Everyone's saying just throw the grated cheese. Right. Hope to run into you guys at Trans World. Look cool. for the green hair. Yeah, look for the green hair and the people with the camera dressed funny. Yeah. Everybody's going to be dressed funny. There Everybody's going to be Halloween dressed funny. Show. But yeah, we'll be running around. We'll be there from pretty much open to close every single day. I threw a baby every and a slice day. of cheese. Does that count? Man. <sighs> yeah, I had sugar today, guys. Like a lot. Like right beforehand. So like I'm trying to be better about um, my sugar intake because I'm hypoglycemic. Um, I need sugar, but also I'm trying to like not overindulge in sugar and, you know, I'm getting older. So I have to do that whole like counting your calories thing. And um, I was like, oh, I know instead of like what I want to eat something because I'm just like empty calorieing, like I'm, I'm not really hungry, but it's a habit, right? Maybe I'll just try um, sucking on like hard candies or something like that. And I was like, oh, look, I have sprees. <laughs> I have, like a box of sprees that I have not opened. And uh, yeah, those aren't exactly hard candies. They just melt in your mouth. And so before I, I knew any better, I had a giant handful of them uh, right before we got on camera. And I, you know what, when we first turned the camera on, I was lit. 
I'm still kind of lit. Like my heart rate is so high. My blood pressure is so high right now. It's crazy. My mouth is just like, eh. you can't see the color, but I'm, I'm like sugar numb in my mouth. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> I threw cheese at my cat and she ate it. <laughs> I love you guys so much. <sighs> Hi, Argentina. We're we're now going to be known as the channel that talked its followers into having cheese fights. Yes, yes. Michael, any more updates with the poltergeist prop purchase? I hope you get it. Uh, no updates just yet no updates yet it's going to be some time he's still got time before he's got to move um when, oh yeah when we go to cheese wars it's a trippy thing because not not only it's it's buy it but we also have to fly into florida and then drive back with it Trevor, um, I, really I haven't really decided how we're going to go about doing that just yet i still feel i don't know we we shall we shall see we shall see we're going to think of something we're going to think of something Maybe that's why, because we tramp stamp. Ricky. We actually eat cheese and crackers here a lot, and we've recently nine minutes started and fifty seconds. Like doing the whole like not a charcuterie exactly, because we don't do a lot of like the meats like that. Hundred eighty four eight months. You, but... Have you guys seen the Napoleon movie yet? No. No, it, it's just not coming out with trailers, isn't it? No, it's been out. Oh. We can rent it on 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 demand if we want to. We just mm. didn't want to pay money for it. We're gonna wait for it to, to be free on a streaming uh, service. Cheese and crackers. Okay, at the same time, oh, like God. my stomach doesn't exactly love dairy and cheese. So like I can only really eat a little bit every once in a while. I sincerely love things like cheese balls, and my stomach says no. No, no, no. We had Velveeta early today and I thought I was gonna die. Yeah. You can throw a cheese sauce. Why not? Right? No. Honestly, Dark Shadows have zero interest in watching Godzilla minus one. Not Godzilla fans here in this family. Respect it. Respect the history of it, but never really, really got into it. Time stamp. I just, I just did one. Somebody, uh. everybody missed it. It's 11 minutes. I can't do the queso like this one. I can't do 11 minutes, 15 cheeses. seconds, 11 minutes, 15 seconds, 11 minutes, 15 seconds. I can't do like, I can't do hot cheeses. I can't do Not enough of the cheese talk. <laughs> I have my own conversation here. Mostly about poor digestion. Yeah. Well, we just spend like 10 minutes talking about like what cheese is good and cheese and how it affects people's digestive system. Kind of Screw all that. You're more than welcome, Jeffrey Lewis. Yeah, I really didn't expect Michael to be all for that in Edinburgh, Paul. I it's it's one of those moments where like I just was hoping and praying that uh, there's the snowballs. Nothing bad was gonna happen because he was not going to come back from that. Like, if anything, I would have been more comfortable when he had held the owl because it was a lot more temperate. Right. The bird that I was holding was like all over the place. The one you <laughs> held was the raven. You held the biggest bird they had. Oh, and God. then when they said, don't get it close to your face because it'll bite. I went, oh, God. I was like, please let this end well. The whole Either time. two things are going to happen. It's going to be a really awesome experience for him or a really bad experience for him. And I was just, I was praying it was going to go well. Yes, Michael hates birds. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the birds. And he volunteered for that, by the way. I did not put him up to it. I didn't suggest it. I didn't ask him if he wanted to try it. I didn't work up nothing. He just flat out was like, I'll do it. I figure I came all the way here, all the way across the world. and And this bird was like, massive uh, and i was like i'll do it and i um i instantly regretted it but by the time that i realized i regretted I it i couldn't tell that you regretted it though. Oh, yeah. you, you did very well oh, you could like when you watch the video i'm sure you guys can see it like i was like eh but i was in shock the entire time so 
I think the movie Birds is what traumatized him. Probably. Yeah. And also being six foot two, you're kind of like closer to birds than I am. I've seen you duck when right? like a bird was flying a little too low to people. I used to think he was doing it to be funny until I realized he was doing it for real. Yeah, it, it, there's nothing there's nothing more awesome hey, than watching a grown one. man Thank scream you, whenever a bird flies too close. Oh, <laughs> I've screamed. Amazing. I've been watching for years. I love how you line up everything with the filming locations. Cheers from Jordy from Scotland. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really love doing that bit because the film that you see in movies is so completely different than any handheld camera you're going to have. So the ratio is always going to be a little bit off. So the way that he does it and he gets as close as humanly possible, it really does take a lot of work to do that. And sometimes it's my, some of my favorite work. I love bats. I love birds and bats. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oh, I remember what I wanted to say earlier. Mm -hmm. Real quickly. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. So, yeah. um, some of you guys have seen the camera that we use. Some of the, all right. Um, so we shoot everything with a Sony A7S III, a very big camera with a nice big rig. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, the 4K on it, the colors, everything's perfect. We, we love it. We're so happy with this camera. But occasionally, we'll go to a place and we'll start filming. And they go, um, you cannot bring that in here. What yeah. do you mean we can't bring it? Well, you can't bring that in here unless you pay for a film permit because that camera rig is too professional. We run into yeah. that a lot. We do. Uh, not all the time, but we do run into it a lot. And it all depends. Sometimes, if it's worth it, we will pay <laughs> for a film permit so we can get into special places that like... Uh, Awesome. That usually most people don't have access to, like whenever we did the saw filming location video. Mm -hmm. um, right. So what we did was we ended up purchasing a Osmo Pocket 3 that shoots one. in 4K. It's yeah. the brand new one. We got the creator combo and some wireless mics and stuff like that. We're not going to be filming all the time with this. We're, we're still going to be filming with our Sony. But we have another smaller 4K, which kind of looks like you're it's walking around small. holding a pen. Yeah. Um, this thing is so oh, freaking you, tiny. Jeffrey. Love you guys. Thank you for all the adventures. You have blessed my life. Happy Halloween from Mesh and Cheese. And thank you so much, sweetheart. Uh, so thank you, Jeffrey. So toast. this camera is like a backup camera for whenever we can't use that thing. So it's more like incognito, more secret kind of stuff. It's very tiny. It fits in your pocket. Hence the reason why I call it pocket. So we just got this camera, mm -hmm. and we're getting ready to go to Las Vegas. We're mm -hmm. going to be in Las Vegas for a podcast. There's this really cool <laughs> podcast. They're was. flying us down. They put us up in a hotel right on the Strip. We're going to be doing a couple of different shows, a couple of different things. We're going to use this camera, and we're going to we're going to document our entire Las Vegas trip the next like four or five days. Not like hey, this is the full experience, but we're just going to have this camera with us everywhere we go in Vegas, and we're going to put out a Vegas video. So everything, when you see that video, you're going to yeah. go, all of that, we'll, we'll also acknowledge it, but all of it is going to be shot on this small, tiny camera that you can barely even tell the difference. It's it's in true 4K. Well, I think it's best. there's obviously going to be some noticeable differences between the film quality, I think, but I don't think this one is going to be like, Oh my God, it's so different. You know what I mean? Like it's so smooth for being so small. It's it's really slick. Yeah, we were playing around with it, and of course, like getting the audio right because we have a certain audio, which I mm -hmm. don't. I have. I've, we both have like hard time hearing. We have some audio issues yeah. on our end. So hopefully, I don't know. Like when you guys watch the videos, hopefully the videos the the sound is okay. It's not too blown out. It's the gains and whatever. It's hard to judge. It's hard to judge, but, um, right. No. Yeah. I mean, so, so a camera permit, well, when you live here in Los Angeles, the film capital of like, you know, um, one of the film cap capital of America, mm. um, you or very popular famous yeah. buildings and stuff like that. We get that a lot too outside of California. Yeah, so there's like certain videos that like we haven't done yet because we have to go through the proper channels. But with this camera, we can just literally just walk in and go, Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. And nobody would know the difference. It's incognito, true guerrilla film filmmaking, but with 4K. 
<laughs> so yeah, uh, the DJI Mic 2 um, comes with it. Only one of them, but and we also got the DJI Mic knockout. 1. It's Double like tap. the pack. Rule number two. Double tap. So there's a lot of stuff coming. There's a lot of stuff coming. So when you see the Vegas video, it's going to be one video, but it's going to be like... I. I hate the word vlog. I absolutely despise the word vlog. I just hate it. It's It bothers me. It's like nails on the chalkboard. I hate it. I hate the word vlog. Um, the video from Vegas, because we're going to be testing that out, and we're there because of somebody else, we're just going to like we're going to go to the um, Ooh, the, the dome, religion. the new dome. What, what do they call that? The sphere. The sphere. We're going to go to that. We got a couple different shows that we're going to go do. Uh, it's going to be fun. We're going to be there for the podcast. We're going to capture it all. So it's going to be like a true vlog, even though I hate that. So Horror that. Legend has asked a really good question. Who there is you your favorite horror celebrity that you have met over the years? Man. Oh, That's a really hard question. Man. Why? Uh, honestly, some of my favorites are from one of the last conventions that we did only because we got to have some really good conversations. And I don't know if you would outwardly call them horror actors. They have both been in horror stuff. Um, I guess I was going to say Amanda Beers. I really enjoyed being able to talk with her. She's just a really cool down the earth lady. And she had all the time in the world for you. Um, there was no rushing. She was listening to every word you had to say. Um, really cool gal. She even went out of her way. She really did. She yeah. went out of her way. She didn't know what she did. She didn't need to do that like at all. Um, she's not a horror actor per se, but she's been in Fright Night, which some people consider a horror comedy. And then my other one was going to be at the same kind because it was a Fright Night Chris, reunion. Chris Bond. Um, um, Chris Sarandon. Chris Sarandon was amazing. He was funny as heckins. I felt like such a tool because when we met Chris, we, we did a show with Chris Sarandon, New Jersey mm -hmm. Horror We were guests and he was guests. And we walked up to him and I we got some a lot of stuff from Nightmare Before Christmas yeah. signed as well as um Fright Night. But yeah. also I had an original Sentinel poster, like an original poster, and I was so and excited because I vinyl, right? Uh, and, and the vinyl and the vinyl and like i love 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 this movie yeah and i'm so excited and i'm like oh yeah he's in it for just like a little bit and a small part and i show it to him and he's like oh yeah this movie this movie almost made me want to quit acting i hated it <laughs> well he, he had a hard time working on it or something and it was shot so long ago you yeah know? And whatever happened when you know there wasn't a lot of like re representation making sure that actors were treated a lot better but at the time but do you want me to get it i can show them sure yeah it's, okay. it's gorgeous michael it's, berryman it's is, so is an amazing person to meet he's too. really down to earth and like, very humble very knowledgeable yeah i think we, we did do a um a grim up all night not a grim up all night but a grim interview with michael berryman and i remember he had some really amazing insight into his time working on one flew over the cuckoo's nest we showed it we talked about a lot of it on camera but even once the camera was over we just talked even longer so this is the sentinel it's just, it's beautiful vinyl beautiful vinyl so and it's a beautiful movie here's the sentinel vinyl and we got chris sarandon to sign it he played michael and how beautiful is that right Look, look at this thing. Here's the back. Burgess Meredith. And the inside is, is, is amazing. Look at this. This if is you, my favorite part of the whole thing. Uh, and there's some glare and stuff. Like that. If you haven't seen this movie, you need to see this movie. It is... It's like a 70s sleeper. 70s sleeper about uh, uh, basically a haunted building. Yeah. The ghosts are the best part. Look, in case you know cool. it, it's I have cool. a thing for nuns. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't, Who right? Doesn't. And also, um, from the new Evil Dead, Evil Dead Rise, Mother, we got to meet her. Alyssa Sutherland. Yeah, she's got this beautiful Australian accent, and she is tall. We also Was she taller than you. Yes. We, so she's like what six three. Chris Sarandon. We also have an original. We have a promo 
vinyl of um, the Princess Bride mm -hmm. that Chris Sarandon signed. I almost grabbed that too, and I didn't. And then right um, when we do the show in Medi. Chicago, Warwick Davis is going to be there. And everybody knows him from, from um, what do you call it? Harry Potter. But Willow. we also we have an original Willow soundtrack yeah. that we're going to have him sign. Because he's amazing. Well, hopefully he's nice. We haven't met him yet. Uh, Someone shouted out Pinhead. Yeah. Pinhead Doug Bradley. Doug's awesome. We, uh, it's, it's hard to pick one. I will sit here and talk about all of them all night long because they're so amazing. Not all of them. Not all of them. Not we, all of them. We have an insane autograph collection. Autographed items, autographed pictures, autographed posters. Uh, there, when we get back from Vegas next week, next weekend... Uh, we're, we are going to do a video. We've been talking about. It. We have a little area set up here that we're getting ready oh, to do like a uh, um, an oh, autograph collection. Yeah. Where what's we'll, we'll, yeah? It's we're probably gonna. I, I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna do it yet. We're gonna think about it. But there's there's a, a collection video coming on autographs, like our most prized possessions. Was there a true crime location that you went to that really hit you hard because of the nature of the crime? Um, I think the only time that I've kind of gotten emotional from true crime locations was honestly, there's two locations. Uh, one with the Ted Bundy location with the with the the girl, the twelve year old the girl, twelve year old girl where Kimberly her body Leach. had been found, Kimberly Leach, and the other one we recently did. It was uh, Albert Fish. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know necessarily that Albert Fish was difficult because of the nature of the crime. I think that's one of those days where like. Um, I was having a day where everything was against me and I felt really sensitive. And so uh, with the topic material and everything, um, I, I, I had a bit of a, a cry that, I, that it really <clears throat> got to me. But normally, normally it doesn't. But the Ted Bundy one, is, it, really, it really did. Geek me out. Geek out cinema. What are you doing when you go to Vegas? Uh, we are actually Play going. Class. We're actually going down for a, a, a podcast. Uh, there's a there's a podcast uh, friend of ours, the Warrens, yeah, that uh, has a really really cool show, something that you don't really see. I'm not gonna mention anything about it until after it's done because you never know what can happen. But um, we're flying down. They're actually bringing us into uh, Vegas and putting us up for it, and we're gonna spend some time in Vegas uh, exploring. But the podcast is really cool, and mm -hmm. uh, we got some. Very interesting stories to tell. So keep a lookout for that. We'll post all about it once it's all done. Thank you, Private Hudson. Thank you. I don't know where we, I keep forgetting to look at what our, our numbers are. 527,000. That and, 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 and that's that's just crazy. And we love you guys so much. We really do. Good day in the chat. If you are an Aussie good fan, day. Grim fan in here, type good day. All my Australian ghost babies, type good day. Say hello to your fellow Auss Aussies. I almost said Australians, but I guess you would say Aussies too. Do you call each other Aussies? Is that like how everyone says that like New Englanders are Kiwis, but do they really call each other Kiwis? Like, or is that kind of like not offensive, but not like a cool thing? That's not a knife. That's a knife. You guys probably are so tired of hearing that line. I bet everybody who visits is always like, throw another shrimp on the bobby. Chris Gray says, you are heading to Chicago. Child's Play filming locations, perhaps. No. Mm -hmm. Or yes. I can't remember. Are we doing Child's Play? Probably not. That's a horrible movie. Nobody likes Child's Play. Child's Play, Chucky, <laughs> Talking Dolls. Thank come you, on. Harley. That's very sweet. Maybe we will. We call ourselves Maybe. Kangaroo Buddies. Oh, I saw a video recently where um, yes. a parachuter Maybe. was trying to land on his target. Chris, possibly. And he wasn't very off. He just barely missed the platform. <sighs> but as he was landing, he was attacked by like a group of kangaroos. Shit. They were Go. like babies. They weren't, I don't think they were full size because they, they hardly came up to his chest, but they were ready to box. And it was, uh, the caption said something like, even landing in Australia with a parachute is dangerous or something like that, you know, because everything's always trying to eat you in Australia.
Do you mean mail to you, Kev Diesel Lamb? How do you get our, our autographs? We'll have 8 by 10s and other different size posters and prints available in our shop when our shop goes live. It is currently not live. It won't be live until around February, I am projecting. Beginning of February. Yeah. As long as everything moves according to plan, according to plan, according, according to, to plan. plan. Uh, we... Trump I don't want to say we're very strict about schedules. Tramp stamp. Um, 28, 30, 28 minutes, 30 seconds. We're not very, I want to say we're very strict about schedules, but Mr. Freddy, I already answered when, when we say we're going to do something by a certain time, we do it. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And hopefully the people who said that they were going to, yeah, hopefully it gets done. Hmm. Or dead locations from New Zealand. I haven't looked into a lot of New Zealand stuff. I know that there's some obvious ones that stand out if we, not if, but when we get to go to Australia and we get to go to New Zealand. I hope that we can do New Zealand and Australia around the same time because they're right there. But Australia is huge. I would love to be the guest at an Australian um, convention. We've never been contacted about one, but if you're watching this, we would love to be guests. We would love to come down and and have a table with y'all and, and be guests. Am I hired? Am I hired? Am I hired? <laughs> Inside joke. If you know, you know. Hi, Australia. Lots of Australians. I love it. Good night, Jordy. Thanks for stopping by, honey. Good night. Thank you for staying up late with us. Really big guns. We have met Robert England, Ricky Darrow. Uh, we have a, a, a Nightmare on Elm Street poster that uh, he signed. And we also have uh, the glove from part one signed. We'll probably show that in the autograph collection video because we're very proud of our, it's like front and center right in our, in our apartment here, right above the TV. So every time we watch TV or if I sit on the couch, edit, I'm always looking at that poster. You're wondering what that was, Michael. I'm confused. I'm missing something here. Huh? I, I don't I know. I was paying attention. <laughs> For the burbs. That was all on sets, wasn't it? If I'm not mistaken, Samantha Sutherland. That was Universal. That was that was all on a a set. I, I'm pretty sure. I want to say it was a Universal backlot. Could be wrong. I'll look deep into it. There might yeah. be something that they filmed elsewhere, but if, so I'm, we love if, that I'm, movie. if I'm not mistaken, it was all filmed on, on a um, studio on lot. a studio like on a lot. Yeah. Not accessible to anybody. I'm pretty sure it's on the Universal backlot. I'm I'm like eighty percent, but. We have met Kane Hodder. I feel like we've seen him a lot, actually. Yeah. And so, honestly, sometimes they're all so tall, and I, like, hit everyone's chest, and I, you kind of stop looking up, right? But I get them all confused. I'm just going to, I'm going to admit that out yes. loud for the first time ever. So, two, back to back, Dirt Box Whore, <laughs> and Darren Davies, yeah. welcome back to the USA. Thank yes. You. Um, I know we, we get asked this nonstop. I'm talking like nonstop. Are you guys back in the USA? Yes, we've been mm -hmm. back in the USA. We're home in the USA. We are back home. And I, I know that somebody's going to ask it again in the next like 10 minutes, which is perfectly fine. But yes, we are home. And Darren, the guy that we met at the um, the graveyard the, in, um, in, in like Whitby, uh, we are going back to England. We'll be back there in the entire month of May, probably part of June. Uh, but I don't think we're going to be going to Whitby this time. We have a lot of other crazy things that we got going on. I'd be okay skipping Whit Whitby this time. Yeah. Oh, no, no, we're not going to Whitby. We're not. But he, and I don't think he's from there. I just think that he was there filming, if I remember correctly. We're not going to Ireland, Fraser. We're not. We, we're, we're not doing at this trip we were going to, but we decided not to. We're not going to Ireland at all in 2024. Bill Mosley is a great guy. He's very just calm. He's very sweet. Hey, 
at some point, Chris Gray will go back to France, but uh, we're not rushing to go back to France. I think if we go back to France, honestly, honestly, I think if we go back to France, we're just going to go to Disneyland. That's it. <laughs> Fly in, take the whatever transportation to Disneyland, stay there, and then leave when we're done. To be honest, just Aaron be honest. said he just got a lecture about peer pressure from his daughter. <laughs> I just received a lecture. Oh, uh, Aaron. Jeez. Yeah, tell your daughter to, um, yeah, just deal with it. We've done the Win <laughs> Winchester Mystery House. We've that probably about two years ago now. It's, it's been a while. Which, you know, at some point we'll go back. Um, I, I have a hard time going back to locations if it's the same, if everything's the same. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I don't want to do the same video and call it something else. If something's mm -hmm. changed a little bit, awesome. Now, I understand like going back and revisiting something for it because, you know. If like you get better equipment. Or... Well, not, no, not necessarily that, oh. better equipment. I mean, you can have, it's just somebody who's new to the channel might not even know that that exists because yeah. for some reason people forget that there's. Oh, a, I know. That people forget that there's a search button and that. So um, I can see going back. Uh, just. It's one of those things where when we went and did the Winchester Mystery House, we went solely for that. Tell her I love her and I'm sorry. What's that? She's vacuuming cheese out of her bed. Oh, good. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You've been cheesed. You've been cheesed. It has been a cheesy night. It has, yeah. I think we kind of looked into doing Vamp 1986 at one point, and I think either there weren't many places there we could is, actually go. There is. It's coming. Is it? Was it? Oh. Yeah. Oh, no. I was my, I was really trying to find where they Thank shot you, Joey Stone. the nightclub we scene, and I just it. couldn't find it. We did. The nightclub? Oh, I think we were debating that. You thought someone I didn't or something like that. And then we found it. Bye bye. I no, absolutely no cheesecake factory for me. Thanks. I think cheesecake is the most disgusting invention on the planet. Thank you, Darren. Thank you. So, uh, what as Sharon? Uh, is it Sharon? No. Where? Not Sharon. Shannon. I thought she just no. Sarah Davies. What she say? I have a few autographs, including yours. Ta da! David Omens. The, the creature, creature features Richard Hammond from UK Top Gear signed a shirt and my football. Very oh, cool. That's cool. Very cool. Yeah. I you know a matter of like and yeah. I yeah. Whenever, when we are, so last year we were in Atlanta, Georgia for Days of the Dead horror convention and we debated, it was, it was the off season. Oh, so God. keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. We, so we debated whether or not we should do zombie land filming locations or, um, conjuring three, the devil made me do it filming locations. And we ultimately went with uh, conjuring three, which I thought was creepy because it was like, it was. It was the, the, the atmosphere was great. The only reason we didn't do Zombieland is because we wanted to get inside the park, the theme park where they oh, filmed the end of the movie, and it awesome, was closed. Shannon. So we decided to wait until we can actually go back and do it. I don't drink coffee either. I think it smells and tastes disgusting. I take it back. Cheesecake. You're more than welcome. I would eat Chloe cheesecake Bird. before I, I would drink coffee. You you couldn't never you can't even pay me to drink it. I I. Mm -mm. It's my kryptonite. It foul. may or may not be on the list, Darren. Hint, hint. And also, if, don't expect any ghost hunting like you see like on the ghost hunting channels, yeah. right? But this trip back to England, when we go into England in, in May, uh, March, April, May, Aww. June, there are going to be some haunted locations that we're going to go to and talk I about. I in the fog. I got to meet, of course, now I can't remember his name. He was the voice of Dr. Facilier. Keith David. Keith David. 
he, oh my God, talking about meeting a celebrity and just like falling in love with them. Keith David is a gentle giant. He held my hand while I had a little bit of a cry from meeting him because I got overwhelmed. And uh, I was like, where'd my hand go? <laughs> I was like, engulfed. And he was he was so gentle. And a lot of people were having really emotional experiences with him because of his connection to different films. And he was just like, like, man, thank you. Like gave everybody hugs and was was just such a gentle person. I love him. I actually had a poster printed specifically to have him sign. Did I miss a question? My Facebook wallpaper? Something about my Facebook wallpaper? I don't get it. Somebody made you their Facebook wallpaper. Oh. Uh, no, not the Milo. Milo Milo. The the, the Mr. Freddy 101. Michael. That's me. Do you do all of the editing on the vids? Yes. Yes, I, I, I do. I couldn't even find that one. We did see the first Omen trailer. Okay, all right. I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say this. We watched the first Omen trailer. The first Omen trailer. And what, what did I say? The very first thing? I said, of course they went with a sexy nun. <laughs> that was the first thing I said. And she goes, I know, right? Well, I mean, like, to us it was, but maybe not to everybody. Some people might feel horrified. But I kind of also appreciate including a little bit of a sexy nun. I mean, if you're going to make a movie with a scary nun, can it be just like a little sexy? Like, a little se like the nun. Okay. I don't know her name. You know her name. Bonnie Aarons. You're so good at this. <laughs> Bonnie Aarons as the nun. Bonnie Aarons, yeah. Scares the shit out of you, right? But also just a little sexy. Just she's just she's, she's I think also very tall. And if not, she looks like she's super tall. We're gonna see her at CreepyCon. We're gonna like, show with her. I, we love the nun too. A lot of people have put that down, but we really, really love it. And like I <laughs> I don't, I don't even think they intended her to be even a little sexy. They're like, oh my gosh, she's terrifying. And we were like, yes, yes, she is. However, you make a very nice nun, ma'am. That's a little sexy. I think it's just inherently, you could, it could be the most old fashioned looking nun on the planet. And I'd be like, wow, you made a really hot nun, guys. Good job. Is that why I collect crucifixes? I wonder. John Roberts. Did you guys go to the house of Dominique Dunn that played in Portuguese? Her evil boyfriend murdered her. Um, maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. Do yourself a favor. Type in Grim Life Collective Dominique Dunn in, in your search button, in your search bar in, in YouTube, and you might be surprised. You might be surprised. Um, Shannon says uh, to you can actually rent Teddy Told Me To and see the Grims. Uh, we're in it very, very short. So you thank might, you for you bringing might, that up. You here. might have to pause it. Yeah, but but we're bit. definitely in it. Uh, yeah. We are probably in February. There's a friend, not a, oh, he's a friend, but he's also made a few different movies um, that have been released by Lionsgate. Uh, wrote a part for us in in his horror film, uh -huh. and we we die in a very excruciatingly brutal but comical way. I like comedy. And we actually have so. lines. We have no. lines. Yeah. No. We have lines. We we interact with each other. We well, interact that's with each different. other. We go searching for something. I hope spooky. he doesn't mind if I go off script because <laughs> I'm so, not an actor. Be prepared for that one. I can't act, y'all. I can interact with you, but if he wants me to say like specific things, we're gonna he... interact with you. But look, oh. we live together. We can practice together. We can practice together. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Have you ever had a cappuccino, Jessica? You need to try a quality. No, no Michael, she no, will I've not. Tr I've tried so many different coffee drinks. I'm never going to try a cappuccino. I can't. You can't even get it close enough to my face because I hate the smell. Like, no, thank you. 
Uh, Michael and Jessica, are you okay with me bringing you both a homemade coffee cake at Creepy Con? It's a cinnamon and brown sugar. There's no coffee in it. It's just called coffee. Um, so we don't typically accept baked goods. It's kind of like a lot of people don't, don't accept homemade baked goods or even just food in general. Um, it's one of those things, you know, you guys have been there probably for a handful of hours before we even get to see you. Uh, it's been in your backpack. It's more of like just Prime a safety video, thing. Prime video, $1.99, Shannon. So I, I would say no. Not that I wouldn't be honored, like, if you were, you know, to ever do that. For, I, that I I feel, you know, the... the Never accept food from that. strangers. Well, yeah, but it's it's more of a... We don't really <laughs> we accept you guys. food items from people in general. And, and when we do, I, I'm just going to be honest with you. It generally just gets thrown away because it sits there forever. People end up touching it in some form or manner um yeah no we, we don't really i mean you can bring it i just i'm not gonna eat it i'm just gonna be upfront and honest about it i'm gonna love the smell of it i, I like love the way it smells i love cinnamon but don't send me a buffalo heart wait is it is it mummified is it a mummified buffalo heart that sounds huge i hate tea too i hate tea i hate it Coffee and tea, can't stand it. Clinton says, who are you guys most excited to see at CreepyCon? And we will be there. You better be there. And if you're there, you better come say hi. Um, I'm excited about seeing David Arquette. Uh, first time being at a convention with him uh, from Scream, Office oh, of Dewey. Right. And uh, we have three Scream posters that we need him to we do. inscribe his horrible name on. But also, they're doing a... Um... Texas Chainsaw Massacre? No. Boom, boom. What? Boom, boom. Oh, Sons of Anarchy. Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, room, room. They're, they're doing a Sons of Anarchy reunion, and so I'll finally get to meet Ron Perlman. Well, he canceled. You shut your face. <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> he didn't cancel. <laughs> I Listen, <clears throat> I've been trying to, to get to a convention that he's been at for the longest time. So I'm finally going to have Ron Perlman sign my Hellboy poster. Um, Hellboy 2 is my favorite, by the way. Mental um, Health Racing. Would you rather be featured in a Scream or Terrifier movie? <gasps> Ooh. 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 I think the one. kill scene would be cooler in Terrifier, but depending on who was going to be featured in the Scream movie, I mean, I kind of want to meet them, so... I, I, I think I would like to... Man, it's a hard one. I think I'd probably go for Scream. As much as I love Terrifier, I, I would like the the uh, idea of being killed off by, I know, by Ghostface. Christina, I was really hoping they were going to announce Katie for Creepy Con. There's still time. There's still time. But I would, I would love, I would die to meet her. I, I absolutely am in love with everything she does. She's like. She's like Angelica Houston to me. She's like mother. Like she's, I absolutely love her. Um, but also I'm actually really excited to meet Charlie Hoonan because not because of Sons of Anarchy, but because of all the other work that he's done. I think he's actually a really good actor. Um, and I did watch Sons of Anarchy for a little while, but it's like not the the thing that I love absolutely the most by those two actors. So really excited to meet him. I was trying so hard to get a crimson peak poster that was already signed by a bunch of the cast so i could have him added to it and you know what i started looking at some of these websites that say that everything has like certification and all this stuff and i swear to god a lot of them look like duplicates like it's been a copy and i just don't trust stuff online anymore i had a really bad experience recently still dealing with a couple of bad experiences oh, do, 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 you, do you guys Let's spill the beans. Want to call them out? Which one? Do you, do you want to call them out? There's like three. No, the, the one that 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 we're dealing with right now. I think I talked about it a little bit last time. Did I not? No. Do, like, do, do you? Are we, we talk we, to Michelle Pfeiffer. We can. All right. So, all right. So, August of last year. August of last year. There's a company called. What are they called? I don't know if that. I don't think they're scams, by the way. No, 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 no. We're not saying scams. We're no. not saying scams. We're not I saying scams. I have purchased from them before, but I've never done a pre-order. No, we're not talking about any of that stuff. So the OC marketing. What are they called? Yeah, OC marketing. OC marketing yeah. private signing company. There's like Galaxy Con. Um, Galaxy Con's a really good one. When I say good one, 
they they're very detailed and whenever they send something out they let you know hey we sent it out hey we got it in hey we're sending it back to you here's the tracking number mm -hmm. oc celebrity marketing last august i think it was said hey guys we are doing a prepaid um a pre-order pre a pre-order yeah. private signing with michelle pfeiffer this one here is like a diehard Michelle Pfeiffer fan. So she Look, jumps on it. I maxed out my credit card immediately. This was expensive. It was $400. Yes. $400. Just for her signature. And Michelle Pfeiffer, you're never going to see her at a convention. That's Catwoman, of course. She yeah. cried and I was like, let's just do it. So we do it. They say the... The the signing is Jesse's going to the, starting the signing is going to happen November December, it's a pre order in November December. Yep. To this day, almost the middle of January, there has been zero updates from OC Celebrity Marketing. Zero updates. No, hey, things have been pushed back, or hey, we got everything in. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Radio mm -hmm. silence. Like, where's the autograph? There, there where's the money? There hasn't been any. No updates anywhere across so, their Facebook. Or Jessica website. reaches out to OC Celebrity Marketing, and keep in mind, I'm saying this time and time again, so you know exactly who they are. I don't think it's a scam, though. OC Celebrity Marketing. Jessica reaches out to him, and the message the message she gets back is so cryptic that I tell her, "Is there a way that we can get our money back?" So basically, they said, "Do you have the email?" Yeah. This is the email. And and tell me what you think of it. Like OC celebrity marketing. <laughs> I'm just I'm, I'm so not happy with these people. It just is something that kicks your anxiety up. You know, when you're constantly checking for updates where you assume updates are going to so be. So like and, and, and here's the thing about this. Like, uh, we've done things with, with GalaxyCon. We're still waiting on the Dick Van Dyke to come back. They've been very, very helpful about it. Like, we, we have something. You at least got notifications. Notifications saying, hey, we got it. It's getting JSA. It's going to be coming out to you. Uh, we sent out, um, we, we had something signed from uh, John Carpenter, the director of, and they were uh, the director of Halloween. And they were very like, yes, this is, it's coming. And this and that. Thank you. We got it. It's coming back. So <clears throat> Jessica reaches out to them. And it says, um, they didn't even mention Michelle Pfeiffer. They didn't even mention the name. They didn't even mention it. I did, of course. All they said was, I believe Celebrity Authentics has started, has started shipping out Pfeiffer items. So they did mention that. We received a tracking notification for one item today. So more should be coming in soon and they will start shipping completed orders out. No, like it, it's it's whatever. It's whatever. I mean, you know that when the, a signing is done, they they say I said we were right. Um, <laughs> Don't know, no rights. No right. Usually, it's like six to eight weeks after the actual yeah. signing, which makes sense. So, but even if you've signed in December, we're two weeks into January. So depending on, you know, they could Hello, still be Edinburgh. within their timeline. But what concerned me was we did Celebrity Authentics. Is I looked up the company's name just to see um, their um, plausibility. And apparently they used to be called a different company. Like Galahad or Gilroy, something like that. Something with a G. And they had been caught forging some of their autographs. Um well, and su supposedly, I mean, it's said on the, you know, that they had uh, mixed in some forgeries with their, their authentics, and then they killed that company and opened up under Celebrity Authentics. Now, I don't know how long ago that was, but when you do just a basic Google search, and that's the first thing that pops up underneath a company you're checking out, you kind of get a little scared. No. Well, no. So, yeah. So Doug says probably the actor strike guys completely completely valid yeah. um, reason. But whenever um, when it's when it's a company who who does radio silence, like keep in mind the website. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. We looked for it, but we didn't go digging deep. Like it could be here, it could be there, it could be here, it could be there. The listing for the pre order, the listing 
is is removed from the website. Which it, is it, interesting. It doesn't even exist. Like it was never even there. Because some usually, like if you go and search for an actor to see if they have anything up on the website, it'll show you like the previous ones they've done. But I don't know if they do that on all of them or not. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's just from people who from from people who collect autographs. It's a nerve wracking process for people who collect autographs and go to autograph conventions, uh, to, to shows, hard conventions and actually know other people who yeah. run private signings. It just feels like, like, like it's not run very well. It, like, like, um, I wouldn't say bad service or bad customer service. It just, it just feels like, wait a second. If, if you're going to be doing that, and you're going to have big names, especially if you're going to do pre-orders. You need to be like, you need to tell people things. You know, I, I've noticed other people say, yeah, just four hundred dollars, just under a felony. Um, I, I, I've noticed recently a lot of people who are selling merch, like friends who have merchandise that do pre-orders, and they give updates saying, "Hey, uh, I know everybody's been asking. I know everybody's not going to see this, but here's an update." You know, do something like that. We don't do pre-orders anymore. I, yeah, I mean, there's people asking in the comments whenever they post online, you know, the sales I have going on and their up and coming uh, other pre-orders and things like that. Um, Tramp stamp, Shannon Fitz. And none stamp. of them have been answered in any of the comments. 54 and, uh, minutes. They do seconds, live sometimes, times. but it's more like a live auction where they auction off um, like yeah. signed Funkos and stuff. But you have to download an app to go onto it. And I'm just not about that business, so... It's not so much that I'm saying they're a bad company or it's a scam. It's just, it's a completely nerve wracking process. And I just wish that it was run in um, a more cohesive way yeah. for the buyer's end. There's, there are a lot. Okay. Being, going to these conventions as guests firsthand, there are a lot of people in the convention world. I'm talking like, not necessarily promoters or or, or uh, people who work or people who are volunteers, but there are yeah. a lot of people in the convention world that you guys don't get to see because you guys are there for the show. You pay a ticket, you go inside, and you're seeing the finished product. But when it comes to the to the convention world, there's a lot of drama. Not everybody. Mm. There's a lot of really good people in the convention world, and we're very picky about who we talk to and stuff Jeez, like that. Peacock, Santa, but like, that's there, there is a lot of drama. That's crazy, and you got to be careful. You got to be very careful on things like that. Everybody's saying to like just cancel the the thing through a credit card. I know that's an option in the end if I have to. I have never had to actually go through my credit card for something like that. I I hope to never do it, but. Uh, it's, it, it, it's not it's not a whole you know don't buy something online until you make sure it's real there is a reputable company as far as you know but there's so many people who do these that not everybody out there um you don't know you don't know who runs it you know switch foot says 881 says could not pay me to live in la which is funny that's cool because you couldn't pay me to live i don't think i asked though anywhere else we love it here Yeah, I would say that people were pretty welcoming when we were overseas. Um, a lot of people were curious when they heard the accent. And a lot of people, once they heard the accent, were, like, not having it. But it's not so much that they're, like, they didn't like Americans. It's just so much that um, some people just get tired of de dealing with tourists because yeah. we require a bit more attention sometimes because we're not sure of how to do something or where to find something. But... Typically, when we travel, we're we're fine. We don't need to like bother people for help and and whatnot. So, but the, at the same time, I get the same attitude to at any gas station or store I've ever gone mm -hmm. to in the United States. So I don't think it's specifically because um, an experience it. we're happening simply because we're overseas. I don't think that at all. No, but there's good things and bad things everywhere, and there, there, so there's good things and there's bad things about living here. As if there's as, as well as good things and bad things about living in New York. Oh God! Like, I good hope things and bad years. things about living in Montana. Lost like there's it. good things and bad things about living in Texas. Everywhere. The has real good and problem bads. is whenever people start going, "I hate this. I hate this. I hate this." Just realize that there's good and there's bad, and just be happy and content with where you are. If you do have a place like, that you love and 
somebody else loves where they are. Yeah. Leave it at that. You love right. where you are. Ever somebody else loves where they are. No reason to put anybody down for things that they enjoy. Um, we're full. We do have patches coming, Joe on film. Big ones. I need a Grim Life patch to add to my jacket. We got big ones okay, coming. To add to your jacket, let me show you this because I have a sample. We do, over Chris here. Gray. We Hold do. On. They're huge. Cool. Gotta get out of it. Charlie and Janice says no place for hate anywhere. We have zero tolerance for hate and drama. The moment any of those two things happen, we get rid of it. We try to live our lives as like less congested, mm -hmm. less stressed as possible. And we have no time for any of that. So that's a patch. This is an, this is an iron on patch. We actually made these out of an overstock of our t-shirts that we had. So they're a really beautiful material. They're very flexible and they are iron on. And I, I think I'm going to have them in a little bit of a variety color. I don't know how many of each colors I have. It's meant to be like for a jacket or something. Yeah, the back of a jacket like across yeah. the shoulder blades. Um, But I know I have green for sure. I think I have some orange. I don't know if I have white. The store is going to open up when we get back from CreepyCon. There'll probably be about $25 for these. So the store is going to open up and we're going to open it up whether we have the new t-shirts in stock or not. We're not going to do a pre-order because that's such a mess, especially day, day and age. So we're definitely going to open the store back up whenever we get back yeah. from CreepyCon. So I'm talking like February 4th, 5th, and 6th around that time. And then if we have the t-shirts, awesome. Mm -hmm. If we have the new pins, you guys are going to love them. They'll be on there, but you'll be able to get um, stickers, pins, and... Um, also, this is a for the Signed items. the the patches. It's a very small supply. Um, I had an overstock in some of my shirts, um, and I think I only have twenty five total Salem. of different colors. So it's not something that we're going to continually carry all the time. It's just something that my best friend was able to make out of me or make for me um, when we were trying to figure out what to do with them. Uh, so they're, once they're gone, they're gone. And I, I don't know if we'll have any that big made in the future. Just letting you know. Darren says, do you guys watch wrestling? Uh, we do. Up we on do. It. Um, I, honestly, I'd like to watch wrestling more, like the wrestling that's out now, but don't really have the time. I wish we did. Um, exotic Engravings Art. Hello, Michael and Jessica. First time catching you live. Welcome. Also from Pittsburgh. Hello. Shady side to be exact. Love you guys. You're amazing storytellers. Thank you for sharing your adventures. Uh, I am I am actually from Crafton. I grew up in Crafton and graduated from Carlinton High School. So um, it's going to be nice being back in Pittsburgh in March. Going to see some family Excellent. and uh, some friends and uh, for a couple of days and we're driving home. I did not question, Kylie. Cameo if is on. I thought on. I would answer it. So I mean, that kind of answers your question for you. But feel free to ask again and I'll try and catch it. Yeah, Cameo is on. Uh, if you guys don't know what Cameo is, we do personalized video messages. You I will can, sing for you. You can order personalized video messages. The link to order that is in the description of all of the videos. Yeah. Um, we send it directly to your phone, and then you can send it to your family or your grandma. If you want us to yell at your grandma, we will. No, I don't. I, you can do those. I'm not yelling at anybody. If you grandma. want, if you have a newborn baby that is like an angel. Yes, we will do personalized dad jokes just yeah. for you. Yeah. If you have a if, if you're a mother and 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 you have a newborn Good baby night, that is an angel that sleeps like butter in a butter tray, I will yell into the phone during the cameo if you want me to wake your baby. I will. It just will. occurred to us the other day that I actually don't get requests to sing on nope. cameo, which I was kind of surprised at because you guys are always asking me to sing. We have a list here. of dad jokes. For the ready. I we've, decided we've been, I will sing for you if you request it. We've been dropping hints. I think the last one, we're like, if you want, you can order like dad jokes and we will give you these 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 crazy dad jokes. But uh, nobody's done it yet, which is perfectly fine yeah. because I laugh at my dad jokes and I, I stand I out on our balcony at like two o'clock in the morning and I scream at the neighbors because I know somebody out there has has a baby. Yeah. Jessica! No. <laughs> So many of you sent me that video, including him. Oh. Now he has to live with it. Speaking of, Robert Blick says, on Wednesday, I am buying a cameo, and I want. Uh, their Netflix is releasing Wednesday on disc. Did we buy that yet? Did we pre-order that? I have it on pre-order yes. from Walmart.com. It's the only place that I found it. 
Thank you, Clinton. The Onion Field video was awesome. We live by there. Oh, oh awesome. Um, I was very happy that she went with me out to that one. Which one? It was a long drive to the, the Onion Fields up outside of Bakersfield. He is pretty. I touched grapes. <clears throat> I can't guarantee you that I will know the song request. I will look it up and do my best. But uh, listen, it could so, go badly. I'm just saying. I'm going to say this right now. I'm going to say this right now. Hear my words. Mark my words with a Sharpie. Does that make sense? I'm not going to sing the full song, by the way. I'll if you like order a cameo where Jessica sings whatever song you want in the background, off camera, <laughs> I am going to be reading you the step-by-step -step directions to some random baked good while she's singing. So you might be oh, getting type or negative, and I'll be like, this is how you make oatmeal raisin cookies with a dash of cinnamon. No, so you'll be up front reading the recipe and I'll be in the background singing it. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. We're just kidding, by the way. No, or are no. we? Listen. <laughs> For the most part, we'll do whatever. What, yeah. Uh huh. <sighs> Look what did we started. start? <laughs> <laughs> Things get a little crazy. Well, I still sing happy birthday. Yes, that is actually the most requested thing that I get to do on on cameo is I get requested. Well, we don't I don't necessarily get requested to sing. We got songs, a cameo last week. And anyway. we got a cameo last week that somebody was like, hey, my um, my 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 my, my dad died. Um could you sing I do a not. song so we can play at his funeral? So we did. Not. We did not. I'm just kidding. Really bad. They said, Jenny, Jenny says, Jess, are you an alto or a soprano? She is bass. She's got a really deep voice. Uh, Let a really deep voice. Do it. I can't. There you go. Bass. <laughs> Told you. How do, how, do you, how do you make your voice lower i don't know how to do that you you, you have to sit down on the ground because you'll be lower there you go do the roller do the roller <laughs> i don't i see okay listen i love old man river stop it because now all these songs are playing in my head all right. Uh, I, what's the difference between e? an alto and a soprano? I'm it, higher, but I don't know. I, I'm going to ask you guys a question just for, for, for crap and giggles, right? If I say, if I say, the gallon bug Hussey, thank you. If I say E, A, O's, E, e? A, O's, uh. what am I referencing? Well, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. E, Oh, it's a song from a movie. Nobody's gonna get it. If some ah, Mo Kane eat edgos. What? What? I don't even know what's happening right now. Mo Kane Gossman, you are amazing. So glad you got that. I didn't think anyone was gonna get that. I... E and O. Oh, <laughs> I don't. It's from a Mighty Wind. It's, 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 a, it's, it's a movie. I like Best in Show. Oh. <sighs> I thought... It's all right. I thought Best in Show was sort of funny, but... Whoa! Best in Show is amazing! Have, have you... Who... Right. I want to ask these questions. Who here has seen Best in Show? I mean, I've seen it. Who here liked Best in Show? <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Like, yeah. it's so, we were at, mm. we were at um, Amoeba Music the other day, and this one here comes running across the store. I thought she was going to push over this elderly lady. I did. And she's like, look what I found for you. And it was best in show. I know. Look what I found. Because you for wanted to watch you. it the other day. Yeah. And I thought of you while we were at the store, and I was like, look at that. That's found. amazing. Ichabod. 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 
Like if I work at it, I, I can't get low, but. Do you have any plans to come to North Carolina at some point? No. Not in 2024. I am so sorry. Um, and I know this because we have the entire year already booked out. We know where we're going to be unless something crazy happens. Ooh. But as long as everything goes without a, uh, we, we know exactly where we're going to be the entire Ooh. year and Ooh. halfway into 2025. So not for this year. I'm so sorry. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. And here's the fun thing about this. Um, I'm just going to say this. I'm going to say it because I always feel bad. I'm always going to feel bad. So Halloween for us, I'm talking August, September, October are our three busiest years, the yeah. three busiest months yeah. out of the year, the three busiest months out of the year. Yeah. Um, there, what I mean by that, we already know what we are doing for the Halloween season sometimes before the Halloween season, the previous year ends, you follow. So while it's Halloween 2023 is happening, we already have plans set in stone for you Halloween 2024. Coming, right? I did. I did. I did. <laughs> so it's crazy. Um, October will come around October 7th, October 8th, October 9th, or, you know, like, like the, right at the beginning of October, we'll start getting invitations to media nights, or we'd love for you to come take a look at the at our Halloween event this year in yeah. like West Virginia, and it looks really really cool. But it, it's it we, we we have to decline because we're already we've already somewhere booked, else. Yeah, we're already somewhere else. Yeah, and I, we always feel bad because we want to go check out these people's haunts or we mm. want to go check this out. Um, if you, what I'm saying is if if you are in the Halloween industry, you need to be working like a year in advance. You're a Twinkie. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Halloween Horror Nights. But the moment Halloween Horror Nights ends, they're already weeks into preparation for the next Halloween Horror Nights. Do you, do you see what I mean? Like it's 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 become this crazy thing, and I always feel so bad. Always feel so bad. Every day of the year, every day of the year is Halloween for the Grimms. Don't get me wrong, get them in a body bag. It's just trying so hard. There's so much stuff that we want to do that like we yeah. keep like we, we miss so much because we're so busy doing the things that we love. And that's the, the hardest part. The hardest part about what There's we do. There's so much that happens. Yeah. And you even if we were to fly to every single thing that we were asked to come and visit, it would be impossible. We would only be able to visit a very small amount, even if we were mm. flying. Well, as soon as we got out of somewhere to the next place, it's, it's just impossible. So you got you got to kind of pick and choose, you know. Charlie and Janice says, and this is great. Follow your hearts and do what you what you do best, and we will all love it. That's perfect. And, and a good example of this is Halloween forty five. We we mentioned this in the past. Halloween forty five happened last year in in in, in Pasadena, mm -hmm. and it just so happened to be like the same exact weekend or the weekend after we were already bought our tickets to go to to um england to to europe right and people are like they couldn't fathom that we wouldn't be going that we wouldn't be going to halloween yeah. 45 and i literally said listen Aww. halloween 45 sounds amazing but i would much rather be in europe traveling the world creating content and memories Pasadena. instead of doing halloween 45 for one day like halloween 50 will come around and we'll try really hard to be there but that's it, 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 it just is what it is. It is what it is. You can't do everything. We're having so Corinia Bug says, huh. I love dad jokes too. And will you film Tom Savini again? Possibly. Possibly. You never know. I mean, we don't have any plans to. He's a very nice guy, but he is busy. He's yeah. always busy. And I think when we did catch him the time we were able to film with him, it was one of those very rare happenings where he was actually home. Like catching us at home is very hard, right? And we happen. We didn't know that was going to happen anyway. Like, there was no plans for that to happen. So, I think that's just kind of how Tom works. Like, he keeps you guessing a little bit. And he likes to surprise people. You know, but he he does a, the convention circuit, too. He's always at a convention these days. Yeah, we, we've seen him a few different times. We, we catch mm -hmm. up, which is kind of cool because he'll see me walking. And be like, hey, Michael, come here. Mm -hmm. and we're like, hey, how's it yeah. going? You, where are you guys going next? And uh, he, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. He is a very good guy. What's the best food you've had outside the USA, Darren? Oh, oh. man. 
Outside. My, it's, I, I, I'm, I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, my favorite thing to eat whenever I was driving, whenever we were driving through um, Europe was almost daily I got the Starbucks luxury fruit toast, which is basically fruit toast. Yeah. That's all it is from Starbucks. But it was so good. I fell in love with that stuff. You don't have that here in the States. I miss it every single day. I actually really fell in love with their breakfast sandwich that they had. I got it every single day. It was so good. Um, aside from that, we did get to do a Sunday roast, which was a wonderful experience. I would happily do that again. Well, not be at Masa Palooza. I'm sorry, Clinton. Um, <clears throat> we really love Asian food. We we had a lot of fried rice. I'm not gonna lie. We had a lot of fried rice while we were in Europe. And the best one we had was actually in Whitby. Because it's just a little tiny mom and pop. They didn't no, even have like a dining room. Not. It was just order and go, like like a chair that you could wait while you were waiting for it to be made. It was so good. We eat a lot of Panda Express. Oh my god. Like we know people by name. Like it's, it's a joke at this point. <sighs> Yes, he was taken care of. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. We have not been to Spain. We just went to Scott Europe Jackson. for the first time a couple months ago. We we only did a couple. Oh, Allison Loftus says, any horror movies you've been looking forward to in 2024? Actually, yes. Uh, yesterday, or was it this morning? Today. Yesterday. 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 It may have been today. <clears throat> um, we saw the trailer for Abigail. The ballerina. Yeah, the, yeah. the ballerina that vampire. Today. That was today? That was today. Gosh darn it. <laughs> um, I, I turned to Jessica and I was like, it kind of reminds me if um, Claudia from Interview with a Vampire got kidnapped. Is it spicy? And then she went on invasion? a killing spree. Is it spicy? I want to try that so bad because I love their honey walnut shrimp, but I'm afraid to try the new hot chili shrimp because it, I can't do spicy. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to 28 years later, but I don't really know... I haven't looked into who's all doing it. If it's the same people who are doing it as the last two, um, who's going to be in it and all that stuff. I think a lot of people are coming back for it. I am the mod. It's true. That's me. Yeah. Spicy, but not super spicy. Ah! Okay. Bright Thank yellow. You. Hey, Queen Bee. Michael Jessica, we are addicted to your channel. You make Aww. every day like Halloween for us. We love you. Well, thank you, Queen Bee, and uh, happy Halloween to you and your family. Looking forward to the new Nosferatu also, yes. Uh -huh. I'm not excited about Megan 2.0. I didn't like the first one. Yeah, we weren't fans of, like... Terrifier Megan. 3, I'm super excited for. Super excited. I'm so proud of Damien. Hehehehe. <laughs> I love this movie. What's your question, Shannon? I there's a handful of original films that came out that everybody's in love with. One of them being Salem's Lot. Maxine, I'm and sorry I about just that. could not get into it, so I don't know about the remake. I don't know how I'm going to feel about it. <laughs> Oh man. Um, you don't need before event. What do you mean? So the, the cameo is um you can order it whenever and it, it gives goes us through the app. It goes through the app, through the app. Um, or you can order it on the website. I think I, th I think it's only through the app. I'm sorry. I do believe so, app. yes. Um that has absolutely nothing to do with any of the events. So we have it set up where it's an app on our end. So once a cameo yeah. goes through, we get a notification on our cell phone. And we are able to do it. And then we can busy, do it like in our spare time. Um, we have like a, a week to get it done and get it sent to you. Sometimes if yep. we're traveling, we miss it and then it just refunds you the money. But um, we, 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 we try to get pretty yeah. good at them. Good question. Good question. Hey, Joe. I wish they would stop redoing stuff. Like people under the stairs, like stuff that. The reason why I don't like them redoing movies like that is because you cannot get the same feeling of film 
And that's what made some of these movies so damn great. It's not that, oh, I have this great idea and I'm going to redo the movie. Well, they don't do the same kind of cut scenes they used to do. They don't do the same blocking with scenes that they used to do. And a lot of that was just the style of the time. And you cannot re recreate that. You just can't. Oh, it doesn't sure. feel the same. You're not going to have as much success because it's... I I was so excited for the remake of Pet Cemetery. I was like, you know what? If they're going to blow a movie out of the water, this is a really great one for them to do because they could really make this their own movie without ruining the original storyline and the original way it was filmed. And that was probably one of the most heartbreaking disappointments that I've ever seen bomb. That, I mean, you had so much wiggle room. You could have done so many things with that movie. And the way that they went about it fell flat as heckins. So, so flat. And I also, I don't, I don't think they had the right actors and actresses for it. I really, I don't think that if a child is supposed to be scary, them just giving you the mad face and standing still is, is something that's going to portray uh, a scariness. Honestly, I, I did not vibe with the child actor they had for the, um, I want to call her a zombie because, you know, she's dead and alive. Um, you know, because she was buried, but I don't know if zombie is the correct word. Technically, this is our conversation we had earlier. Technically, she's a zombie, right? Technically, she's a zombie. Let's call her a zombie. Um, yeah. Mm. I could, I'm so mad about that still. Like, <laughs> like four years ago, and I'm still mad. S fall, tramp, stamp, tramp, stamp, tramp, stamp. We're looking at one, uh, what on earth? I had it one hour, 18 minutes, 50 seconds, one hour, 18 minutes, 50 seconds. I think that every now and then I'll open up YouTube and I'll type in like movie trailers, 2024. Mm. And I, I was kind of let down that there really isn't many good movie trailers out right now of things that are upcoming. There's just, Hey, this movie is coming soon. This movie is planned. I saw um, a, a, an article saying that Beetlejuice Two has finished rap, uh, has finished filming. Um, there's the Crow is going to be coming. There's all these things coming, and that's all good and dandy. Mm. And but for some reason, once I see a trailer for the movie, to me, that is a movie that's coming. Right. If it says, oh, we're planning on releasing it in 2024, and somebody says, you know, are, are you excited for this movie that's coming in 2024? There's no trailer for it yet. Nobody wants a remake and, of The Crow. And and um, even with a trailer coming out, doesn't necessarily mean that that movie is going to come out anymore, which is a horrible thing. So it, it's really, really hard. There's a lot of really good stuff coming down the line, and I hope that it all gets made. No, Frankenstein's not out. They're still casting for it. They still haven't started filming it. it yet. And I'm sorry. I'm just going to go on record in saying this. I I hope, I really hope that the new Crow movie does really good. I'm a diehard Brandon Lee fan. Diehard Brandon Lee fan. And I'm really excited to see what they do with the Crow. I'm really excited to see I'm what not. they do with it. Um, but I'm mad about that one too. But again... Brandon Lee will always be the crow. And I hate saying that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But like, it, it's one of those things where it's like. Final Destination could be cool because they could do shit on their own. But like, like. I don't know. I, I, I hate saying this one person can only be this character. Only be this character. I hate saying that. But no, but just, but Brandon Lee and the Crow was so good. The and, way the movie felt, though. And when it came out, those who were like at that right age, which mm -hmm. I think a lot of us were, whenever mm -hmm. you saw the Crow, I saw it in the theaters. Um, it struck a chord. Mm -hmm. it, whenever Nine Inch Nails' cover of the Joy Division song uh, um, "Dead Souls" came, whenever he was running across the rooftops, I think it was the one, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, it was it was just yeah i Am mean I the it only was one just that insane. liked the sequel to that also bailing you you just love the we all wanted an evil sexy sidekick after that movie right 
not one that's your sister, but. Uh, <laughs> Hi, Grim fam. Thanks for all you do. We all appreciate it. What's your take on horror bands like Ink? What's Ink? Oh, we don't know this one. What's your take the on horror bands like horror Ink? horror band that we're what is familiar with is. Was Spencer Ink? No, that's not that doesn't sound right. Ice Nine Kills Ink. Um, okay, ah. so it's, it's not our cup of tea. We but, tried yeah. listening to it, like there's that album Horrorwood. Welcome to Horrorwood, I think yeah. it is. Um, we enjoyed it, mm. but like it's not like something that we listen to. Like Wednesday 13, we're not fans of Wednesday 13, it's just the type of music, there's nothing wrong with it, mm. it's just not something that we listen to. Like, um it, I don't like screamy. Yeah. Thank you, Koi. Q. I like the oh. visuals. Don't get me Thank wrong. You, I like the visuals, but it's not my my type of music. It's not my type they, of music. The the stories behind the songs are cool. They make really great music videos and that sort of thing. But um, it's not our kind of music. I don't like the screamy music. I don't know how else to put that out there. Screamo or whatever it's called. Thank you, it's Eric. like a metal rock or whatever. Um, the same thing with um, Motionless and White. Like they are like so freaking famous and everyone loves them. And I was like, oh, I can usually find a song or two I like from every artist. And I gave them a try and I was like, nope, that's that's a there's only like two genres of music that don't buy with me. It's the screamy stuff. So I'm, I'm not really a metal fan either because I don't do the screamies. Um, and modern punk. And like m punk, yeah. ska. I like punk 70s punk, yeah. but not like modern punk. Like I like the, Ghost, the, but the, Ghost oh, wait, doesn't wait, scream. Wait, 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 punk. Ghost is, like, Ghost is a little bit different. Ghost is more, I would almost say like goth pop, for lack of a better. He doesn't do the screaming like, stuff. Like to, uh, you're gonna laugh. Somebody's gonna be like, "How dare you?" Oh, I love Marla Brink. So like, Ghost, right? The band Ghost. She does a little bit, but I can get. Do you remember, like, so like, like heavy metal happened, right? Heavy metal, and then they did like this operatic me metal, which is very yeah. like they look the part of metal, but they have this very melodic like metal. melodic metal. Yeah. To me, that's kind of like <laughs> not the same kind of music, but it's kind of like what Ghost did. They took this like heavy uh -huh. metal sound or this heavy metal look, this like whatever, and then they just kind of did something different, and it just kind of shocked you into liking them. Um, so like, I, I dig that, like I Nightwish, just, yeah. I can't get into somebody like eating her microphone and it's a, a total guttural. I, I can't get it. Norwegian metal and stuff like that. Yeah, I can't get into it. King Diamond had a couple of good songs. Speaking of, you're, have you're, you guys seen Ariana Grande's new music video? <laughs> I just opened up a, a new one, opened up a can of that one. Eh? I grew up on goth and industrial music and oldies and like Depeche Mode was probably my favorite band growing up. That was one of the more, I like a little bit of old gore. Like I grew up with like really, really old gore. I've met them. They're great people. I, I performed a couple of shows with them. Um, like Skinny Puppy. You know what I'm saying? Like. Good evening, Hello, Thorn, this one. Good evening. Good evening. Um, our PO box, PO box has not changed, but make sure that it's from a recent video that you got. Hollywood. Off of. We live in Hollywood. Don't do the Florida one. Oh, a lot of the older videos have the Florida. But that's an old video, though. Yeah, that's but you really never know. Video. You never know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, they all they do is they put a slip in our mailbox for when we need to pick up a package, and I haven't had any. I mean, we we check it a couple times a week, and there hasn't. I mean, so it's not like it would have been left there for so long that it would have gotten returned. I know we what we almost went to the Depeche Mode show, but I was like, I watched one of his other lives that was like the previous year. And God bless their hearts, they're still rocking it, but they're so old that you could really hear the strain in the voice. I was like, I would have, I would have loved to have seen them live, don't get me wrong, but it's not what I'm wanting to hear. Not for that kind of money. Not for the price of tickets. No. No. Speaking of music. So we did get we did get to see who was the first concert we had here? It was uh that guy, Danny Elfman. 
Yeah, Danny Elfman at the Hollywood Bowl. That man can hold a tune. Speaking of music, I'm not going to tell you who. I'm not going to tell you who. But the video that we put out today, the video that we put out today is um, the Hollywood Museum. And then we're getting ready to go to Las Vegas. And I already mentioned that we're going to be filming with this new pocket camera. It's not, we're not going to use it all the time. So don't get afraid. You know, don't worry. We're going to go back to that one. But it's we have this, very nice. this little pocket camera that we're going to take to Vegas. We're going to shoot with and very see nice. how it really works um, for the next couple days. But tomorrow, I'm dragging this one out of the house. They better not. To go to a cemetery to do a video mm -hmm. on a very strange, strange band. That is going to be the next video. It's going to come out in a couple of days. But tomorrow we're going to go film this very, very strange band that you may or may not know of. We've done like three on that, Marcus. But whenever you see it, search for it, you'll find it. When you see it, you're, you're uh, you might get a kick out of it. Not going to tell you who it is. Not going to tell you it is, but it's a very strange musical group that uh. So keep an eye out for that. And it's not Corey Feldman. What? <laughs> With that being said. Our movie is over and our time has come wah, to wah, a wah, close. Wah, 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 wah. So it is time for us to get off here and put on our night clothes. I rhyme. I'm already there. Dang, she's always in it. I'm, she's always in it. If I'm home, I'm in my comfy clothes. Listen. I come home today from picking up the two tombstones out in the middle of nowhere. And this is what she's wearing. And I said, what are you doing? She's like, I'm ready to go live. I was cleaning a lot today. 218 Just Cyrus, thank you too for another great I found evening. This hat and I hope I was the rest like, of your weekend is oh, amazing. Wow, I forgot I'm going to return to the crypt. Good night. So Good night. I wore the hat. Thank you, 218 Just Cyrus. Chris thank Bong. You, Cyrus. Thank you, Chris. Stay soon. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. You guys are all amazing. Thank <laughs> you for being here. Stay spooky. And um, if you are going to be seeing us in um, CreepyCon or Chicago or Pittsburgh, can't wait to see you guys there. And uh, there's a we love doing the meet and greets or we love doing the horror conventions because not only do we get to meet you and not only do you guys get to like meet us, it gives us like a safe place for all of that. But you can also shop at some amazing vendors or some amazing local vendors yeah. to the areas that make some amazing stuff. And there's also other celebrities there. There's big names that are going to be there. And it's an experience. And that's what we love. So thank you. And... Uh, Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, Shannon Fitz. Get him in the body bag. Cauldron Moon. See? I'm not going to be able to do Fan X in Salt Lake City this year. Sorry, we got other plans. I don't know about that one. It's a big, it's like a Comic Con up in Salt Lake City. Oh. Till next what time. What I would like to do is like the Ink and Iron they do up in Steel City. Steel City? I don't even know. The Ink and Iron. Oh. Listen, I get confused really easy. There, and they all sound the same to me. There used to be a concert. Like a two-day festival in Nashville or just outside um, it called Ink and Iron I think, Festival. Uh, it was Steel City Con, maybe it was like a I think it was primarily a tattoo convention though. Maybe uh, I see. I see. Like the maybe that's why I thought it was called Ink and Iron. We are gonna be at Trans World in St. Louis, but we're not doing a meet and greet there. Well, we're trying to do a meet and greet in St. Louis at the darkness. Our mutual friend Larry. Yeah is thinking uh, we're, tr we're trying to get them to open up the, the darkness, the entire haunted house. You can walk through it, but it might, they have an amazing gift shop there. Yeah. that's filled with some horror movie stuff. If they do open the haunt, I don't think they'd be doing it for free. So you would have to buy yeah. a ticket. But if anything, if you know where the darkness is, we're yeah. trying to get a meet and greet in St. Louis solely for that. Um, if not, we are going to be at trans world, but we're only going to be walking on the show floor filming yeah. the entire time. Yeah, but you can say hi. You can still <sighs> say hi. We're just not going to be selling anything. You know, we're going to try not to stand in one spot too long. So if you want to say hi, by all means, Jeremiah Johnson and Shannon, the ghost life will happen. Just, I don't have a date just a yet. Lot. Don't have a date just yet. Um, but it probably won't happen till get back. Don't have a date just yet, guys. But you know it's coming. You know mm -hmm. it's coming. Um, also, Ghost Club members, you know who you are. Albino Ghosts, thank you for being a part of the afterlife. If you want to join Ooh. the Ghost Club, there are ways to do it. The link is in the description of every single one of our videos. Click on it. It's a monthly thing. There's some perks that come along with it. Don't feel like you have to. We love you all, and good night. TTFN.
pumpkin people. That's you. Boo. Scooby-Doo.